It is said that there are two types of RV roofs, those that don't leak and those that don't leak yet. Our RV roof has crossed over to the other side. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple Live Free and I'm very unhappy when I discovered that our RV roof, roof, our RV roof is leaking. Um, we had it parked here over the winter. We didn't use it over the winter. When I parked it there that last fall, there were no leaks. And then this spring, we started to prep for a, like a four day trip that we were gonna take. And when we went in there to clean it out and start getting ready, I discovered there's a leak in the roof above the, uh, the bathtub. There's a, a skylight up there and it's leaking at the skylight. So this is something that I'm gonna to have to fix. I'm not real happy about it. I haven't started taking it apart yet to see how difficult or how bad the leak is, but it definitely needs to be fixed. Now from up here on the roof, the leak is around this skylight. And I think it's in this corner. I don't see anything obvious, but it's probably just the caulking is starting to deteriorate. This all feels solid, but for the most part, it looks pretty good from up above. But from the inside, it's a different story. Here's the tub, shower. First thing that I noticed was some dirt there in the corner of the tub. It's like, where did that come from? And then I looked up and that's when I discovered this. And uh, there's obviously some mold in there. I don't know at this point how extensive it is. I need, I'm going to have to take that apart, take the ceiling down to see how much mold is up in there and how much uh, has to be reconstructed. I'm really kind of upset that I didn't discover this earlier because if I had, it would have been just a matter of probably fixing the caulk on the roof and uh, cleaning up a little bit, but now I'm going to have some, some major repair work to do because I waited too long because I didn't discover it in time. It just shows, goes to show that you need to inspect your RV probably every couple months at, at, at the least. It's been like five months since I've been in here last over the winter. So when I walk in here, I don't really smell anything as far as mold, um, but Elizabeth does. Now, she has asthma, which only kicks in very occasionally. But she, as soon as she walked in, she said, oh, this has got mold in here. And within a minute or two, her asthma was starting to kick in and she had to leave in a hurry. As soon as she got out, everything cleared up, so it was fine. But at any rate, so I know there's some mold up there. So I'm going to be wearing a mask. This is not a Rona mask, okay? This is a dust and mold uh, mask. So let's... Start digging into this and find out what we got. So now that I look at this a little closer, this is just thin plywood here and I see that there are some wrinkles where it's delaminating here and all the way up into about here. So it looks like there's more extensive damage right here in this corner than I had originally thought. <clears throat> which is not good news.
it's still wet all the way over into this. Okay, so when I first started tearing into this, I thought, oh man, it's much worse than I thought because it's wet all the way over to here and wet all the way over to here. But you can see right here is where the water stopped and the insulation that was up in here was wet. But all of this is solid. It's all solid. It's just discolored. And now that it's open, I think if I let it dry out and then spray some mold killer on there, I think the main structure is gonna be fine. And when I look back in here, there's one spot right there that's discolored, but it actually feels solid. I think once again, if I just let it dry out and then spray it all with mold killer, what you're seeing there that's black is just stain. And all of this is just stain. So I think I'm good here. If I can let it dry out, spray it out, put new insulation in there, then all I have to do is just cut a new piece of uh, plywood for the ceiling. I'll probably replace the whole ceiling all the way around and then just paint it. I think I came off a little bit better than it could have been. I could have had to redo all of that structure up there and I just don't think that's necessary. And then of course I'm going to have to um, redo the caulk on the roof around there. I've already bought the special RV caulk that's self-leveling and made for this. But I'm not going to do that until I get this uh, at least dried out and maybe uh, sprayed with the mold killer. So I guess in the meantime I'll be putting a tarp over it. So I'm just going to have to leave this for a few days. I really need to let it dry out before I can do much more about it. And uh, I'll cover it with a tarp so it doesn't continue to get wet. So. Anyway, yeah, I'll get back to this in a couple of days. Okay, so this is now two days later, and all of this is dry. And it's looking pretty good, because most all of this was black before, and now that it's dried out, it's not. You see that the wood here is fine. So there are still some stains. I have not put bleach on this yet, but this just doesn't look bad at all. So I'll go ahead and spray it all with bleach to kill whatever mold I can. And I think we'll be good to go. Okay, so the next thing I think I have decided is that I need to fix the roof first, fix the, replace the caulking, and fix the leak before I put in the, the new insulation and the new ceiling. That way I can just let it stand for a while through a couple of storms and make sure the leak has not or make sure the leak has actually been fixed and the water's not coming through. However, it's just about to rain here, and the weather report is calling for 70% chance of rain of thunderstorms for about the next week, and I really need a full day of no rain to be able to replace that caulking. So, as you can see here, I've uh, covered it with a tarp, and... Uh, I'm just going to have to let it sit like that until the weather report is better. So it might be another week before I can get back to this. So I've decided to split this into two videos. So this will be part one. That way you can see what I'm doing. And then as soon as I get the, the roof fixed and the, the rest of it, I'll put up.
part two. So I hope you're enjoying this. Thanks for watching and look for part two coming up. Live simple, live free. You be blessed.